Jinja works within Microsoft Word, Outlook, Internet Explorer, and PowerPoint. And the way that Jinja works is you download a very small application onto your computer, and that application, via the internet, connects to our huge database and checks your errors against. All you do is you click anywhere in a sentence and click F2, and the Jinja toolbar opens up. It shows you your original sentence with the errors and the corrected sentence. You can see that in this sentence, any other software would have not picked up any mistakes. It all seems completely correct. But Ginger looks at the context of the sentence and works out that it's actually, I like to read. Look at the next sentence over here. You see the beginning is exactly the same as above. Again, I'm clicking F2. And Ginger worked out that because we added a camel at the end, it's actually now, I like to ride a camel. So we changed because it was looking at the context of the sentence. What I do now is I click approve, it changes the text inside the document for me and moves on to the next. In this sentence over here you can see the ginger correct very unusual spelling mistakes like accident and it also corrects grammar. So six people lost their life, it knows it should actually be their lives and it corrects that as well. Again I click approve and it corrects the first sentence and um, shows you the original sentence with all the errors up the top and the corrections underneath it. You can see that there's a lot of homophones here like leaves to leaves, the C to C, but we also correct other words not just homophones. Bards doesn't sound anything like birds and that's corrected as well. And outskirt in this context grammatically should actually be outskirts. Also, everything else here, the go to goes, all the other errors, and I corrected them all with a click of one button. Look at the very unusual way of spelling outside and very unusual way of spelling beautiful. No other spell checker could correct these kind of errors. Any word that Ginger corrects, you can click on, and we provide you alternatives that you can now tell the difference between them. I have sample expressions that accompany them and enable me to differentiate between the alternatives. I can also listen to them. Outside. In summer we play outside. Aside. Step aside. So I can now... Aside. Say I wanted to actually buy the side. I just clicked on it. That's all. And outside. On outside. I can also listen to the original sentence that I wrote. He leaves on the outskirts of Cambridge and Averida. He go outside to see the beautiful birds. You can really hear the mistakes, mm -hmm. so you get your auditory feedback as well as the visual feedback with the uh, mistakes and the corrections highlighted. And I can also listen, I, all I'm doing is clicking here on the speaker button. And he I lives on the outskirts of Cambridge and every day he goes outside to see the beautiful birds. I can change the sounds, I can decide, so, so we now move just a little bit here to the left, you can see in the settings, I can change the speech settings, and I like Heather, a lot of people love Graham, he's got the English accent, you've got all different voices you could choose from, you can also change the speed, I can make them talk a little bit faster and a little bit slower, and the next time you log on, Ginger remembers your settings, and they'll be there for you, you could try it. Testing one, two, three. And um, we can stay with Graham for the moment. And we'll click approve. This next sentence, no other spell checker can correct. Very unusual way of spelling judge and very unusual way of spelling against. Just for example, let's right click on judge and see what word offers us. Jade and Gadden. So if in, this, um, in this case, if you picked any one of these alternatives, and again for here, against is not offered for you, you'd end up with a sentence that makes no sense whatsoever, instead of just having spelling errors. And again, I just click on the sentence, it's corrected for you. The JG ruled against him. I can hear my mistakes. The judge ruled against him. Let's say I actually wanted to add something to this sentence. I click here on the edit sentence on the little pen, and I actually want to write yesterday here. So I just clicked inside the toolbar, and I can just add yesterday, 
And now when I click approve, it will add that to the sentence inside the document for me. Here you can see physics doesn't start at all like what physics with a pH, it's still corrected for you. The favorite subject, all corrected for you with one click. And you just click approve, it moves on to the next. H could be anything in this sentence, but if we're reading it and Ginger Like Us looks at the context of the sentence, it works out that it's actually he was not feeling well when he returned. Some grammar that Ginger does, you can see here that instead of known of, it actually corrects it to known for. Nobody else does anything like that. This sentence over here, if you look at this sentence, any other spell checker doesn't think there's anything wrong with it. All correctly spelled words, but it's not actually Eddie Licks to drinks, only minerals water. It should be Eddie Likes to drink, and you say mineral water, not minerals water. This is another sentence that any other spell checker doesn't see anything wrong with it. A lot of grammatical errors, repair should actually be repairs instead of make, it should be made. So the whole sentence should actually be instead of the cost of all the repair we needed to made were more than we could afford it, it should actually be the cost of all the repairs we needed to make was more than we could afford. So you see the ginger correct any kind of context as well. It could be adult writing, it could be children writing, um, people at high school, people at work. It really works with any context um, that you're writing with. Let me show you a couple of other things that Ginger does. Ginger um, tracks the mistakes that the users make. So you can get a report and if you're a home user, you just click here on the report. But Log on to our report through the website and the report that you get over here gives you information about the kind of errors that the students are making. So I can see now for since November how much David has written, how much Diana has written and I can compare between them. So I can see that David's written 47 sentences. If I compare it to Maya who's written 137 sentences then David hasn't written very much at all and perhaps I should be looking at what is going on with his writing. I can also see how many words were corrected, how many words were written, how many of those were spelling mistakes and how many of those were grammatical errors. I can click on student and then I get the exact information of the spelling errors and the grammatical errors that they've made. This is invaluable information for tutors, for special educators, or for teachers to really identify the specific needs that students may have. We now have statistical data that you can have a look at, that you can report, whether it's in an IEP or any other kind of reporting. It's also a great way to really look at your whole class or your whole school and see what's happening with the writing of all the students. Let me show you a couple of um, other ways that Ginger works. Ginger also works with Internet Explorer. So say I'm doing a Google search, I click F2 again, and the whole sentence is corrected for me. And let's see, maybe, maybe if I'm um, doing a Gmail, Gmail, again, I can click F2. I can also, by the way, just click here on Ginger at the top and it corrects the whole thing for me. I can click approve and it just moves on to the next sentence in the paragraph and moves on to the next. So Ginger also works with PowerPoint, that's new and that's just came out. And you can see that in this slide over here, again, I can just click F2 and it's all corrected for me. So whether I'm at work, I'm at school, I'm in any kind of social network, Twitter, Facebook, etc., Ginger can correct your mistakes for you.